Baby Your Baby is brought to you in part by Intermountain Healthcare and the Utah Department of Health. All right, now that kids are back in school, the daily sharing of germs has begun. As you evidenced by my voice. In tonight's Baby Your Baby report, Holly Menino helps parents decide when to keep kids home and when to send them to school. When it comes to the decision of whether to keep your child home from school, it's important to know your own kid. I think the best way to think of it is, is my child going to get something out of the school day today? Mm -hmm. Are they going to be able to, you know, perform well, learn something? Pediatrician Ben Greenfield says the two symptoms likely to keep kids home from school include an upset stomach and fevers. Usually recommending about 24 hours after your fever stops before you decide to go back. Dr. Greenfield says parents can ask themselves, if someone else's kid had what your child has, would you want them around your kid? Is it going to be something that's going to be very contagious? Uh, something that other kids are going to be affected by? Sickness comes in waves throughout the school year. Toward the beginning of the year, parents should keep an eye out for stomach bugs. As we get into fall, flu season will make its appearance. And throughout the school year, colds are extremely common. However, no matter the season, kids in school means germs will always be present. There's never a time of year when there's no illness or no sickness going on at school. For 2 News, I'm Holly Menino. A few preventative reminders of the best ways to avoid getting sick. Always wash your hands. Avoid touching the eyes and the mouth. Do not share items like food and drinks. And always cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze.